is up welcome to my channel thank you guys so much for being here my name is rachel if you haven't been here before glad to have you so aries sun moon rising and venus your love life april 2021 let's make it a good one y'all all right not gonna resonate for every single aries out there it's not possible you're not all living the same lives if it doesn't resonate check your other signs or check out one of the other awesome readers on here since this is a love reading i do recommend checking your moon and venus signs as well if you need a personal reading feel free to hit me up everything you need to know to get a hold of me is in the description as well as the about me section i will show these to you after i get them all out okay also at the very end of this reading right after i pull your energy with the different signs um i'm going to answer a yes or no question for you guys so throughout the reading Try to think about what you have, what your question is, so that when I get to the end of the reading, you have your question ready. It'll be the last thing that I do. Okay. Two nights out so far, guys. Knight of Wands and Knight of Pentacles. King of Cups reversed. Justice. You've got justice and judgment out here so far, guys. Ooh, and temperance. Nice. Two kings and two knights. Okay, let's start here and we will clarify as needed. All right, guys, so you guys are coming in as judgment. All right, um, so you are reevaluating a decision you made. There might be a possible reconciliation here for you. Um, it's just reevaluating re a decision to make sure you made the right decision. This is like the final judgment call on something. Whatever you're reevaluating right now, whatever happens here is going to be final. Okay, this can also be like a marriage or divorce. Um, and it's also, you're really trying to trust your own judgment. All right, and it's crossed by the Queen of Coins, Queen of Pentacles reverse, which is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. It's also ex wife energy. So you could be in that energy, you could have somebody in that energy. Um, it is. It is kind of breakup energy. It is non-committal. Um, so you're either reevaluating a commitment to see if maybe you still want to be committed or you're going through a breakup or divorce here and really just trying to be sure that you're making the right decision here. Um, again, it could be the potential for reconciliation with somebody that you were really connected to, really committed to, if not married, at least living together in the past. Um, look what's on the bottom of this deck. Queen of Pentacles, which is who I was just reading. <laughs> All right, let's clarify this Queen of Coins reverse for you. The Ten of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, that's breakup energy, guys. This is dysfunctional family home. Um, instability within the home so definitely considering a breakup here or considering a reconciliation with somebody that you used to have this with huh a lot of earth energy Virgo Taurus Capricorn by the way even down here in your foundation you've got the Knight of Coins Knight of Pentacles which is Virgo Taurus Capricorn again um, so in your foundation this is moving forward but being extremely cautious so with judgment here and the knight of pentacles you're really really trying to make sure that you are making the right decision one way or another you're trying to move forward here all right um 
real cautious energy, real slow and steady. It is moving towards something committed here, whether it's this or you want to, you know, eventually move towards something else, but taking it real super slow. In your recent past, you've got the Knight of Wands here, younger fire energy, you guys as well as Leo and Sag. Um, so in your recent past, this is just hookup energy. <laughs> All right, it's fun, it's partying, it's a lot of attraction, but it's really inconsistent energy. You might have just been doing this with someone or had somebody like this in your midst, um, or maybe this is this person, and now it's like, uh, do I want a real commitment or what? Because it kind of was just a hookup, you know? Um, your present energy. You've got the King of Cups reverse. This is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but this is somebody who's really emotionally unstable, emotionally unavailable, emotionally manipulative, all right? There's some, some emotional issues with someone there, a lot of immaturity, or, you know, somebody who's just unable to express themselves emotionally. Clarify this King of Cups. What is this King of Cups for Aries? The full Aries energy. There you are. Um, all right. So this is, this is a new beginning. It's an opportunity for a new beginning in your present energy. It's, it's about taking a risk and taking a leap of faith. However... The person it's attached to is unstable. They've got emotional issues. So taking a leap of faith with them would not be the smartest thing to do. Let's get another one on that. So the full is you know it's your energy but it's also the beginning of a whole new journey for you which is good however you don't want it to be worse than your last relationship you know and that person they're not not healthy and the high priestess reversed and you're ignoring the red flags guys you're ignoring your intuition ignoring the red flags um Somebody is, is really fucking manipulative here, and they're kind of pissing me off. TBH. What the hell? And you're ready to just jump right into them. Let's see. Let's get another one on this high priestess. Somebody could have secrets, too. The Two of Swords. Inability to make a decision because somebody isn't seeing the truth of the situation. It's a it's stalemate energy. It's being really stuck here, not knowing what to do. But why are you not knowing what to do? Because you're not listening to your intuition. You're not looking at what is actually in front of you. Um, you know, when somebody is like having emotional issues like that, we kind of feel bad for them sometimes um, and end up getting ourselves in some fucked up situations. So just be mindful. Listen to yourself. If there's red flags, listen to them. Don't be like, well, you know, it's because of this, they can't help it, or it's because of this and it'll get better. You know, listen to yourself, guys. In your future, you've got the Eight of Swords reverse Gemini energy. So this is pretty awesome energy for you. So this is coming out of an energy of feeling trapped to a situation. It's really just trapped in your thoughts. Um, Letting go of the paranoia, letting go of the overanalyzing, overthinking. It's releasing yourself from that kind of all up in your head energy that's kind of drives you crazy, you know? Clarify the Eight of Swords reverse for Aries. Cross watchers, don't get mad at me if I'm if I sound like I'm trash talking you. This can go both ways. It can be Aries doing this or you guys doing this, okay? All right, two of pentacles reversed, overwhelmed energy. Watch out for taking on too much, trying to keep keep the balance here with um, a way out of balance situation. It, you know, watch out for getting too overwhelmed here. And it can also be juggling between two people. And that's whatever. I, I'm not judging anyone on that. You know, if you're not in a relationship, you can date as many people as you want. Um, just watch out for overwhelming yourself. The nine of swords yeah so if you don't pay attention to boundaries and you start to get overwhelmed because you're taking on too much you're gonna end up here 
This is anxiety, it's depression, it's not sleeping right, not eating right. So watch out for that. Just do not take on other people's shit and practice healthy boundaries, okay? All right. And if somebody is like juggling between you and another person it's causing you all this stress, release yourself from that. You don't have to stay trapped to anybody. Okay, now you are also coming in here as justice. You're coming in to this reading as judgment and justice. So you are like about it. Like you're like really not trying to, um, you're not trying to get yourself into anything that is not fair and balanced but watch out for manipulation. You know, people can have us in some fucked up situations, all right? But anyway, with justice, again, more of that energy, marriage, divorce, um, but it's evening out. So this could definitely be like a karmic connection for you, you know? I don't know if you know what that is or not, but check into it, look it up if you don't, because you've now got both of those karma cards here. Libra energy, if I didn't say that already. King of Wands reversed, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So there you are. Um, now we're still in your energy. So what you're trying to do here is bring balance back so that you can get in your power because you're coming up reversed here, which means you've been taken out of your power. And I know that sounds corny, but it is what it is. Um, you gotta get back to yourself, get your confidence back, work on your self-esteem, your self-worth. If you're taking on somebody else's somebody else's shit is draining the life out of you and you need to let it go okay work on yourself your confidence so you can get back to this balance where you're trying to get to all right in your environment you've got temperance this is Sagittarius you could have a Sagittarius in your environment if you do they are there to help you okay temperance is literally divine intervention and it's in your environment so you are being helped you are being helped from the universe right temperance is also about balance your inner world and your outer world it's harmony um it's tempering yourself obviously it's about composure patience all right i mean i can tell like you're really doing the work here guys you are you just really got to watch out for somebody taking you out like taking you out of your power and put you in a place you don't want to fucking be in again clarify temperance the King of Swords reverse, Aries Leo, not Aries Leo Sagittarius, that's the freaking King of Wands that I just read for. Gemini Libra Aquarius. <laughs> All right, anyway, Gemini Libra Aquarius, but again, it's with Sagittarius here. So this kind of person, um, wait, did I say you have one? You have all of the freaking kings here, guys. Every single one of the kings you have here. But you know what? They're all reversed. They're all reversed. So there's some jacked up masculine energy here, whether it's the masculine in the connection is just way out of whack, not healthy whatsoever, or whether it's your masculine side, you need to take more care of it, be more aggressive, be more proactive, you know? Anyway, let's get back to this King of Swords. So King of Swords reversed with temperance here. Um, this is in your environment. You've got somebody in your environment that is really cold really detached they're trying to really just kind of separate themselves from you or the connection because they're they've got emotional issues they're not right they're being a little narcissistic mean harsh critical judgmental whatever don't let them take you out of this temperance energy all right this is divine intervention like i said whatever your belief system is the universe is working with you to get this person away from you and get your balance back okay okay hopes and fears the four of swords reverse you're hoping to heal you're hoping to come out of this energy of feeling like crap you know like hurt betrayed like somebody stabbed you in your heart this is healing from it but you're hoping that just like can we just like get the healing over with please can i just feel better please it's libra energy by the way heavy libra here actually Clarify the Four of Swords reversed for Aries. You know, if that's not you, you could be hoping that somebody else gets better. If they're going through some fucked up shit, you could just be hoping that they get healthy. Clarify the Four of Swords 
reversed. The Queen of Wands, there you go. Okay, here I have to show you. You know this is your energy, right? You're down here coming up as the King of Wands reversed out of your power, not being your whole self. Your hopes is that you can heal and get back to yourself. This is you being in your power, being your outgoing life of the party, hot as shit self, right? You're hoping to heal and get back to this and you will, you will as long as you keep your guard up with this completely unhealthy person. Okay, and your outcome. The king of coins reversed, king of pentacles reversed, along with the queen that you have here reversed as well. This is a breakup. This can be a divorce, okay? Um, a Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. It is unstable, but like I said, I don't think that it's you. I think it's just there's there's a breakup or a divorce happening here clarify the king of coins it's virgo taurus capricorn if i didn't just say that yeah and the six of pentacles by releasing this unhealthy person this is you getting your balance back all right this is about you only entering into connections that are fair that are balanced that the person matches you they're your equal you guys both put in the same amount of time and effort you might not be willing to like commit right away and that's okay um but that's where you end up you get your balance back which is your whole goal here right okay you know what i'm gonna use this one let's get your energy with the different signs guys aries with other fire signs aries with other fire signs how is it going in your world ten of wands it's heavy it's heavy and it's draining and you should drop it all right if you're not dropping the connection they need to put in a little more work because you're doing it all all right aries dealing with earth signs aries dealing with earth signs page of cups that's a new emotional offer or an emotional expression it can also be an apology good shit Aries dealing with, what are we on? What are we on? Air signs. Aries dealing with air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Seven of Swords reverse. There's going to be a confession um, or somebody getting caught lying. Aries dealing with water. Aries and water signs. What is up with you guys? Aries and water signs. Ooh, the sun reverse that's some unhappiness here some sadness for whatever reason a lack of clarity on that situation okay are you ready for your yes or no questionaries you got it take a deep breath think about your question okay you ready Aries here we go Yes or no for my Aries friends. Yes or no for my Aries friends. It's a yes. That's the Empress. That's a heavy, heavy yes. I hope you wanted it to be. All right. I love you guys. Please take care of yourselves. I hope this situation gets better for you. And it will. I see it getting better. So... Have some hope, guys, all right? Thank you for spending some time with me. I will talk to you in another day or two with your next reading.